everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief on this Friday. It's just over 100 days since the packed government and Minister for Health and Wellness, the Honorable Sabrina Turner, took office. Since the beginning, the minister says she has seen herself as an addition to the team of ladies and gentlemen who are under the ministry. And this type of relationship is one that can yield great things. It is imperative for me to actually build those relationships that will only yield great outcomes throughout my contracted time. Um, I have said publicly to the heads of department, especially HSA, um, because that, that statutory authority uh, is so big that I have not even yet had the opportunity to visit the district clinics, which is dear, near and dear to me, uh, because I don't want it to just be a, a visit where you're just visiting. It's more than that. It's about quality. It's about genuinely speaking with the ladies and gentlemen that are in the fields who are more the community, the ground, the foundation of an extended care that is available within our communities. Uh, within the 100 days, we have definitely put to the forefront our priorities. There are a lot of cross-ministry collaboration because needs assessment unit, uh, Cynical no longer falls within the Ministry of Health and Wellness, uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't all work together and making sure that the patients or external customers utilizing the services, especially at HSA, that we can streamline access to health care so that persons are not so bogged down within a process, but it's all about the delivery of service and care that they're trying to access. There's so much young Caymanians that are out there, one that definitely pops to the mind um, because I honestly did not realize the great work that was going on with the genome sequencing and the work that Mr. Smelly and how he's definitely climbed to the top in showcasing and highlighting not just jobs, but careers. And this will be my message throughout my tenure here, that it's also highlighted through the other healthcare providers and not just filling a position, but creating clear pathways for career opportunities that definitely Caymanians and Caymanian young adults are given first dibs to. Mental health facilities, definitely that's on stream. I've had the pleasure of touring that facility along with my colleagues a week ago. Great works are going on there some ideas and, and we're going to be doing some PR and getting more public engagement with considering the naming of the facility and also naming of the various blocks. More, addition, more information will be shared with that. But um, again, it's our commitment in making sure that we're following through and we're listening to the people out there and as much corporate sponsorship and support we can get to put this forward so that at the end of the day, this long-term facility is not just a conversation, but it becomes a reality and serves its purpose. Healthcare is 360, but we are focusing on definite preventative care. Preventative mental health, people should no longer feel um, pushed to the side because they have a relative or has been suffering with mental health issues. Uh, you should be aware of what services that you can actually access through your insurance coverage for preventative care, uh, which falls under the wellness, more education in that regard, which is why I'm saying, although Cineco does not fall within my remit, these are ideas that my colleagues and I, Deputy Premier especially, and Honorable Andre Ebanks for NAU, are sitting down, dealing with it, trying to, to just hash it out on even footing with the primary thing at our forefront, people first. The minister hopes to visit the district clinics in the very near future. Well, due to, due to recent high tides and heavy rainfall, the Mosquito Research and Control Unit is expected to fight an increase in biting mosquitoes within the coming weeks. MRCU will be conducting controlled operations to combat the emergence, but mosquito numbers are expected to remain high for the next two to three weeks. The team at the MRCU understands that mosquitoes can become a major annoyance during the summer months, and they suggest the community follow a few simple steps to help, including using mosquito repellent, throwing out any standing water that's near your home, and where possible, try to stay indoors during dusk and dawn. Now, more information on planned mosquito control operations can be found daily online at mrcu.ky, or you can follow them on their Facebook page. 
Today's forecast shows the high temperature reached 89 degrees, the low 77. Partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers and possible thunder are expected. The winds are east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots. Seas are moderate with wave heights of 3 to 5 feet. Moderate easterly winds along with isolated showers are expected over the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. It's all in association with a ridge of high, a weak ridge rather, of high pressure just north of the Caribbean. Radar images show isolated showers over the Cayman Islands area moving towards the west. A reminder that you can find the latest in local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us. I wish you a safe and wonderful weekend and invite you to join us back here again on Monday. Until then, bye-bye for now.